Hello and welcome to the National Real Estate Post. Frank Ray here. Happy Monday to you. Today's show is going to be kind of interesting. It's going to be about a little tidbit that was in a Stratmore survey that I think is really crucial for us to understand and take advantage of going forward, especially into 2020. So we're going to talk about that. But before we get started, I just want to remind you that our new non-QM partner, Oak Tree Funding, is just phenomenal, guys. Um, they've actually got a deal where you can go to their site and do live product trainings like whenever you want. Uh, the neat thing about them is compared to other non-QM companies is, you know, these guys, they got their own guidelines. They write their own guidelines. They're not beholden to any, you know, investors. So they have just the most extreme flexibility that you could ever hope to have in a non-QM lender. And their pricing is crazy crazy aggressive going forward in 2020 you gotta have non-qm in your pocket you gotta have more than one please take a look at oak tree funding just click this banner you see right here it's over on your right or it's straight down below or there's a link on facebook here somewhere and you can start to engage with oak tree to get your non-qm stuff going on now on with the show As you can see, I found my old Think Big, Work Small shirt, and I guess the word small is keyed out. You probably see right through me there, but you know, it's a green word that says small. But anyway, moving on. So I was listening to a podcast by Todd Duncan, and he was interviewing Dave Savage. Now, these are obviously a couple of mortgage icons that everybody in the mortgage industry anyway probably knows. So they were talking about the LO of the future, and they were talking about technology and these other things. But something that came up was that at Todd Duncan's last event that he had, um, someone brought a, a Stratmore survey that noted that the number one customer satisfaction item, the thing that was like the most critically awesome thing to a customer, and the Stratmore survey was like of a hundred thousand mortgage consumers, right, who had just gotten a loan done. But the number one thing that stood out the most to them, guys, listen close, was when they got a personal call from the actual loan originator just updating them and giving them a status update on what was going on with their file. That was the number one thing that caused them to get excited or that made them feel like they were being taken care of properly. When the loan originator, his or herself, actually picked up up that phone, got them on the phone and said, hey, it's me. Just want you know your appraisal came in. And, uh, you know, this is something that we've taught over here at the National Real Estate Post. Brian and I and are traveling across the country and doing coachings and trainings with our experience in the industry and, and whatnot that we've always taught. I've always taught that your loan statuses are money-making opportunities for you. Not only is it now shown through the Stratmore survey that it's like the number one thing that the consumer cared about, but it's also the time for you to ask Ask for a referral. For your loan officers, when you're on a purchase transaction and you're giving a loan status update, say the appraisal came in, right? You've got four people you can update a listing agent, a selling agent, the buyer and the closing agent, all four of those people you can call, just let them know what happened, right? But then before you hang up the phone, you simply say, hey, great, before I let you go, I'm trying to help as many people as I can right now. With that in mind, is there anybody you know that I could talk to today that might need my help, right? Then you might phrase it a little differently for a referral partner than you do for the consumer or for the escrow or the closing agent, right? Taking that time to make that call on a loan status update and then ask for the referral before you hang up the phone is so, so critical. Now, I could probably think of off, my, off the top of my head five milestones where you could have these conversations, right? And make these statuses. Uh, I would say when you get the formal loan approval, um, maybe when the appraisal gets ordered, uh, when the appraisal comes in, right? When you've got the CTA, and then of course after the deal is closed, something like that. Or you can come up with your own milestones. It doesn't matter, but have about four or five milestones in each purchase deal and make those personal loan status calls to the people that are involved in that transaction, let them know what happened, and then ask them for a referral. According to Stratmore, that was the number one thing that caused a, a, a loan officer to have a high customer satisfaction rating. That was the number one item, a personal call from the loan originator giving them a status. And specifically, not their assistant, not an email, right? And of course you would send an email, you know, but in addition to it, giving that personal call. So here's the fun thing is I'm hoping tomorrow we're actually gonna have Stratmore on the show. These guys are amazing. 
Uh, they've been doing surveys for a long, long time, and it's critical data that mortgage companies can use uh, in their business and going forward and projecting and you know considering how to take care of customers and customer service. So uh, we're hoping to have Mike from Stratmore on the show tomorrow. But I hope the show was helpful today. I hope that means something to you, not only today, but going forward into 2020. And with that, do us a favor. Leave us your comments down below. Um, you can share on Facebook right here. I know a lot of the mortgage owners or managers may want to share this in particular with your teams. Just click the Facebook button down below. Start a conversation. If you're meeting us for the first time, subscribe for free in your upper right-hand corner. So with that, you guys have a fabulous Monday, and we'll catch you here tomorrow at the National Real Estate Post.